Hey guys, welcome back to another World War II reenactment video. This video is kind of a part two to the last video I posted of the reenactment at the Camp Atterbury military base. I'm playing some clips from the last video on screen. We were mostly fighting in these small buildings and defending them from the Germans. After that, there was kind of a lull in the action. We ate some lunch and thankfully the Germans didn't attack for a while. But right as we were finishing up our food, the Germans attacked us with a martyr tank destroyer, a half track, some other vehicles and a bunch of infantry. So we had to spring into action to defend this little town here. As usual, I'll be coming in with voiceovers to explain stuff as needed. But other than that, just sit back and watch me portray a World War II soldier fighting in France in 1944. Is that one of our guys by the, by the shipping crates? Guys up in here. I'll cover you from push up to that building. Okay. You want to move? Oh shit, that's where the water is. Yeah. Up, but I think that half-track is probably more important. What's the way of doing the camera? Are you alive? Yeah, thanks. Huh? Alive? Yeah. Right. That's why I'm up here. Where's the track? What? Where's They're the moving track? up, but I can't see them yet. Yeah, I don't see I don't see that Kubel. I can. I got clear eyes on the martyr. I got clear eyes on the track right now. And there's a, a lot of uh, infantry in front of them in those weeds. Take the them in the first place. They're pointing at us now. You might have to move up to that building. The only thing is there's a bitch ton of Germans out back there. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I bet there's guys behind that building. Crash got their MG pointed at us. Where'd the martyr go? What's up? The half track is between the trees. Throw the half track fire! Throw the half fire! If you see him start to poke his nose out from around that building, I'll let you know. I've lost sight of the martyr. I see infantry over there. I think that martyr's holding Throw the half track fire! Dude, that track is right through. Let me see. Hey, look through here. Look around. It is right there. Oh, yep. Here. Yeah, I'm good to go. The martyr's on this side now. I see it. You, okay. I didn't know it moved that far up. Yes. Martyr's on the move! Martyr's on the move! Right, hey! Cover me! Getting a wounded man!
Oh. That train on us? It kind of went up like further this way. I don't know if it's going to try to come up this road. Track moving up. They're dead. Got them? I don't think they know if we got them. Oh, Load another one and run all the way into the road to shoot it so they see you. Yeah, we'll cover you. Uh, Martyr's pushing up onto this main road that runs right into town, parallel to the one we're sitting on. It's pushing up through the shipping crates right now. What should we take? You take a shot at the half track if you got one. All right. Run out there when I tell you. All right, go. <laughs> Oops, good thing that wasn't a real rocket in there. As you can see here, we're trying to take out this half track, but it's kind of hard if they don't see that bazooka fire at them, they won't know that they're hit. It's pretty hard to see the bazooka smoke and know what's going on when you're inside the vehicle. So that's why I was trying to tell them to go all the way out into the road and shoot it. But it seemed like the half track kind of stopped moving around after this. So maybe they realized they were hit and just figured they were immobilized. We shot the track twice, so we're not going to listen to this. Here's a better look at that half track we've been shooting at. I hadn't really gotten a good look at it up until this point, but now that it stopped shooting at us for a bit, I could finally take a peek. They can get mad if they want. We're taking them. That right there. All right, no, no, no. We got, I know I'm going to get you over here. I know. Wait. Hang, hang, ba hang back here. I know. Once they push up. Are there German in this corner? That half track's not moving, but it's got its 42 pointed at us. Oh! Well, that was kind of a dumb way to die right there. I don't know how easy it was for you guys to see what happened, but a German soldier crept up to the other side of this building we're standing behind, and when I walked past that window opening, he was standing right there with his handgun pointed at me. He didn't shoot it because he was at really close range, which I appreciate, but he didn't need to. I knew that I was out, I saw him, and I just laid down and took my hit. But as you can tell by my little grunt there, I was not too happy that I had made that mistake. For this reenactment, the expectation was if you got hit, you would look at the wound card they gave you. That that would tell you what kind of injury you had. I had been hit previously at this event, so I knew that my wound card just said dead on it. And if you were dead, you were just supposed to lay there for 10 or 15 minutes, then go regroup with the rest of your squad. By the time I went back and regrouped with my squad, the fighting had pretty much died down and nothing was really happening anymore. You can see some footage of us running around through the buildings here, but I didn't really do any more shooting except for this one incident that I'll show you. Oh. So as you saw, a German Kubelwagen drove by in the distance. I fired one round at it before my gun jammed, but thankfully that wasn't the last time we saw that Kubelwagen. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on video, but just a couple minutes later, that Kubelwagen came right down the road, and I guess they didn't know where exactly we were because a bunch of us jumped out of the buildings and opened fire on them. I dumped the entire remaining end block that I had in my rifle at this thing, and as soon as that was empty, I proceeded to pull out my revolver and dump 
dump that whole thing into them as well. I pulled out my camera and started recording right after this happened, but I missed the actual shooting. There was a bunch of us there shooting. It was a really cool moment and we shot so fast that they didn't even have time to get their gun into action. The reason I'm bringing this up, even though I didn't get it on film, is because it led to my favorite picture from this event. My friend Joe took this on film using an original World War II camera, and that's me kind of inspecting the damage of this Kubelwagen that we just took out. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had so much fun at this event. This was an event where we were really living like World War II soldiers. We slept in little holes in the ground. We only took gear with us that was authentic to World War II. And I really came away from this event with a better understanding of what those guys actually went through on the front lines in World War II. Obviously, nothing can actually live up to those experiences, and thankfully, nobody's life is actually on the line when we're at these events. But you can learn so much from just using the gear that they had and putting yourself in similar situations. I still have more footage to share from this event, so make sure you subscribe to catch that when I post it. And other than that, thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.